R480 nanoliter injection pump operation video. This video contains the following four parts. Part 1. Software Introduction First, turn on the instrument. The manual interface includes both emptying and filling functions. You can set multiple parameters. Empty rate, the editable range is from 0.02 to 200 nanoliters per second. The minimum step is 0.01 nanoliters per second. Empty volume, the editable is from 0.6 to 5,280 nanoliters. The minimum step is 0.1 nanoliters. Fill rate, the editable range is from 0.02 to 200 nanoliters per second. The minimum step is 0.01 nanoliters per second. Fill volume. The editable range is from 0.6 to 5,280 nanoliters. Click empty button to empty the backfilled mineral oil in the electrode to the target volume at the setting empty rate. The bottom of the interface displays the empty progress in real time. Click stop button to stop emptying. Click fill button to aspirate the reagent at the fill rate and fill volume to the glass electrode. The bottom of the interface displays the empty progress in real time. Click stop button to stop filling. Click reset button to return the steel plunger to the initial position. Enter the injection interface. You can set the injection volume. The editable range is from 0.6 to 5,000 nanoliters per second. Injection rate. The editable range is 0.02 from 200 nanoliters per second. Red in time, indicating the time that the steel plunger does not move after the injection is completed. The range is from 0 to 30 minute. The minimum step is 1 minute. Click inject button to inject the filling reagent in the target area. The bottom of the interface displays the injection progress in real time. Click pause button to pause the program. Click continue button to continue the program. If the retention time is not zero, the bottom of the interface displays the retention countdown. If you need to stop retention early, click end button to stop the countdown of retention. After the retention time is over, the beep will last for one minute. When the reconfirmation function is enabled, injection is completed will pop up after the injection or retention time. Accompanied by a one minute buzzer sound. Click OK button to close the window and mute. When the injection is over, the system will automatically record the number of injections. Click clear button to clear the injection times. Enter the program interface. According to the experimental needs, set the target injection volume. The editable range is from 0.6 to 5,000 nanoliters per second. The total injection volume cannot exceed 5,000 nanoliters. The total injection volume is equal to the injection volume multiplied by cycles. Target injection rate. The editable range is from 0.2 to 200 nanoliters per second. Cycles represents the number of repeated injections. The editable range is from 1 to 8,000. Delay, the lengths of the interval between two cycles. The editable is from 1 to 999 second. Click Run button. The instrument starts the injection according to the program set by the user. The bottom of the interface displays the progress of the current injection procedure time in the form of a percentage indicates the ratio of the current number of injections to the cycles as a fraction. Click pause button to pause the program. Click continue button to continue the program. Click end button to end the operation. Click test button. The instrument will run the first step in the cycle to check whether the function is normal. Click end button to end the test. Click list button to enter the program list interface. The instrument can store 1 to 10 injection procedures. 
Click Call button to call the selected program and enter the program interface. Click New button to enter the new program interface. You can add a customized new program. Click Edit button to enter the Edit Program interface. You can modify the existing program. Click Delete button to delete the selected program. Enter the setup interface. You can set the rate unit and system language according to your needs. When the confirmation function is selected to be turned on. When clicking the keys involving fill, empty and rest in the manual interface. The system will not execute immediately. You need to click OK. Screen brightness, adjustable, from 1 to 10 files. The software version of the current instrument is displayed at the bottom of the interface. Click Time and Date button to enter the time date interface. You can set the display format of the date, the current time. Maintenance function used for after sales support of RWD factory. Part 2 Foot Switch Function Introduction. The foot switch can comply three functions, including empty. Fill, Injection. Empty, on the manual interface, press and hold the right foot switch for a long time to perform emptying. When the emptying is completed, a beep will be heard. Release the right foot switch to stop emptying. Note, the foot switch and the control unit are independent of each other during a process. When the right foot switch is pressed for a long time to empty. If you want to stop the emptying, you can only release the right foot switch. And it is unable to stop emptying by clicking the stop button on the control unit. Fill, on the manual interface, press and hold the left foot switch for a long time to fill. And a beep will be heard when the filling is completed. Release the left foot switch to stop filling. Note, the foot switch and the control unit are independent of each other during a process. When the left foot switch is pressed for a long time to fill. If you want to stop filling, you can only release the left foot switch. And it is unable to stop filling by clicking the button on the control unit. Injection, on the inject interface, press and hold the right foot switch for a long time to inject. After the injection is completed, a beep is heard. Release the right foot switch to pause the injection. Note, when the injection is paused, press and hold the right foot switch again to continue the injection. Press the left foot switch will finish the injection without a beep. Part 3. Glass Electrode Installation and Injection Demonstration Before the experiment, Use the micro pipette puller to pull the glass electrode. Backfill the pulled glass electrode with mineral oil by a filling needle. Note, no air can be left in the electrode. Click empty button on the manual interface of the control unit. And the empty program can be ended when the steel plunger is exposed. Method of installing glass electrodes. Loosen the collet slightly. Put the filled glass electrode into the exposed steel plunger. Slowly insert it into the bottom. Be careful to move gently and slowly during operation to avoid bubbles from entering. Tighten the collet. Enter the manual interface, set the target empty rate and volume. Click Empty button to empty the backfilled mineral oil in the electrode to the target volume at the empty rate. During the emptying process, the emptying progress will be displayed in real time on the manual interface. After the emptying is completed, the user will hear a beep and the progress percentage is 100%. 
set the target fill rate and volume. Click fill button to aspirate the reagent at the fill rate and fill volume. During the filling process, the filling progress will be displayed in real time on the manual interface. After the filling is completed, the user will hear a beep and the progress percentage is 100%. Click inject button to enter the inject interface. Set the injection volume, injection rate and retention time. Click inject button to inject the reagent in the target area. During the injection process, the injection progress is displayed in real time on the inject interface. After the injection is completed, the user will hear a beep and the progress percentage is on 100%. If the redden time is not zero, enter the retention time and the plunger no longer. If multiple repeated injections are required during the experiment, the program mode can be used. Set the injection volume and rate according to the experimental requirements. If you need to repeat the injection two times, set the number of cycles to two times. Set the length of time between injections. You can click the test button to test the instrument function before running. After the test is over, click the run button. The instrument will start the injection according to the set program. After the operation, loosen the collet, remove the used glass electrode. Unscrew the collet. Wipe off any remaining mineral oil with a dry cloth. If necessary, wipe the steel plunger with alcohol. After cleaning, reinstall the collet back into the injection unit. Part 4 – Product Maintenance First reset the steel plunger. Click Reset button to return the steel plunger to the initial position. After resetting, unscrew the collet, remove the old ceiling material, including ceiling, column and ceiling ring. Take out the new ceiling material. There are a large hole and a small hole on both sides of the ceiling column. One end of the large hole of the ceiling column faces the chuck. Ceiling ring install on the steel plunger. The steel plunger through the ceiling column. After ensuring the ceiling column and the ceiling ring are fitted, tighten the collet to complete the replacement of the entire ceiling material. Please read the maintenance of the instrument carefully. For more details and operation please refer to the user manual.